hello and welcome to the Kingpin Crime YouTube channel. On today's video is a notorious English criminal reported to have made millions from his crimes. He was charged with the murder of a police officer and was involved in fencing and laundering proceeds from one of the most famed robberies in the country, as well as being suspected to be involved in the aftermath of many others. This is the story of Kenneth Noy. Noy was born in Bexley Heath on the 24th of May 1947 into a working class family. His parents always worked with his father running a post office and his mother a dog racing truck. His criminality began at a young age, when at just five years old his mother caught him taking money from a till in a branch of Woolworths while she was talking to the shop assistant. Reportedly a bully while attending Bexley Heath Boys Secondary School, he ran a protection racket with his fellow pupils. Leaving school at age 15, he began to sell stolen bicycles after he'd altered their appearance, amongst many other petty crimes, and was sent to spend a year in Borstal. At this point, he met a barrister's legal secretary, who would later become his wife. Noy was a police informant for many years, and had connections with corrupt officers by the time he was arrested for receiving stolen goods in 1977. He became a Freemason in January of 1980, as a member of the Hammersmith Lodge in London, after being proposed for admission by two police officers. The membership of the lodge contained a sizeable proportion of police, however Noy's membership ceased in 1987 because he had failed to pay subscriptions for two years. He was then expelled from the Freemasons altogether when it was discovered that he had a criminal record. Noy's police contacts helped to protect him, with one persuading a customs official not to target Noy, while his tip-offs to the Metropolitan Police's flying squad reportedly a means to limit competition from rival criminals. Meanwhile, he had built up a legitimate haulage business to use as cover. Following the famed armed robbery of the Brinks Mart Depot in London on the 26th of November 1983, Noy was amongst those involved in laundering a huge quantity of the stolen gold bullion taken. While he was being investigated for his involvement in the crime, Noy fatally stabbed Detective Constable John Fordham, who was involved in the police surveillance of Noy in the grounds of his home. Acquitted of murder on the grounds of self-defence in December 1985, he was found guilty in July of 1986 for handling some of the stolen gold and of conspiracy to evade VAT. The gang who stole the gold expected to find cash, so Mickey McAvoy, one of the thieves, had asked Brian Perry to conceal the gold he had received, and Perry then brought in Noy and John Palmer, who was later known as Goldfinger. Noy had melted down much of the Brinks Mac gold, and mixed it with copper coins in an attempt to disguise its origins. However, 11 gold bars from the robbery were found hidden at his home. Sentenced to 14 years and fined £500,000 with £200,000 legal costs, he was released from prison in 1994, having served eight years. The civil action that was brought recovered £3 million while he was incarcerated. On the 19th of May 1996, while on release from prison on licence, Noy was involved in an altercation with a 21-year-old motorist on a slip road off the M25 motorway near Swanley in Kent. During the scuffle ensued, Noy stabbed and killed the man, Stephen Cameron. Noy immediately fled the country, later revealed to have been assisted by Palmer, who claimed to have barely known Noy. While Noy was on the run, Detective Constable John Donald was jailed for 11 years for passing on confidential information about police operations to Noy. After his vehicle was discovered to have been unloaded in Cyprus in July 1996, it was discovered the Land Rover matched the description of the vehicle driven by the man who stabbed Stephen Cameron. Noy was in the Turkish-occupied northern part of Cyprus, however, which meant that Britain didn't have an extradition treaty. Two years later, a significant police hunt with GCHQ led to Noy being located in Spain, where he was arrested on the 28th of August 1998. Cameron's girlfriend, Danielle Cable, was secretly flown out and positively identified Noy on the 27th of August. Noy lost an appeal against his extradition from Spain and was finally extradited to Britain in May of 1999, going on trial just 10 months later. Noy claimed to be non-violent and again pleaded self-defence, explaining that he'd fled because the police hated him and he feared not receiving a fair trial. Found guilty on the 14th of April 2000, after a trial held in high security conditions, Noy was convicted of murder by the jury's majority verdict of 11 to 1, 
and was given a life sentence by Lord Justice Latham. Noy's legal aid costs amounted to around £250,000 for his defence at trial. Cable was given a new identity under the Witness Protection Programme, having been praised for her courage. Another eyewitness, Alan de Cabral, declined protection, however, and was shot dead in the car in Ashford, Kent, on the 5th of October 2000. Police stated that the killing was done by a professional hitman. De Cabral had himself been questioned about gun smuggling and had extensive criminal contacts, and reportedly owed money to others. Although Noy was questioned by the police, they concluded that the still unsolved murder had no provable connection to him. In 2001, and again in 2004, Noy appealed unsuccessfully against his conviction. He was represented in 2001 by Michael Mansfield QC, and in 2007 a legal challenge was made against the Criminal Case Reviews Commission's decision not to refer his case to the Court of Appeal as legally flawed. On the 7th of March 2008, on a new legal challenge, Lord Justice Richards and Justice Swift granted permission for a one-day judicial review hearing covering the CCRC's October 2006 decision. On the 25th of June 2010, Noy's bid to have his minimum prison term reduced was rejected. Mr Justice Simon ordered that he must spend at least 16 years in jail. A second appeal was also rejected in 2011. Noy was reported to have been moved from a Category A prison, HMP Whitemore, to a Cat B at Loudham Grange. Noy was formerly a Category C prison, HMP Wayland in Norfolk, where he had another appeal against his tariff dismissed on the 12th of March 2013. On the 13th of February 2015, BBC News reported that Noy had been granted a parole hearing. The parole board said that the case had been referred by the Secretary of State. Justice Secretary Michael Gove in October of 2015 refused his request to move to an open prison, but the High Court accepted a legal challenge in February 2017, saying that Gove had failed to give proper or adequate weight to the recommendations of the parole board. In October 2017, Gove's successor, David Liddington, had agreed Noy should be moved to open prison conditions. Around March of 2018, Noy was moved to HMP Stamford Hill on the Isle of Sheppey, which is a low security prison with day release. In May 2019, it was announced that Noy was suitable for return to the community and would be released from prison within about three months. On the 6th of June 2019, then age 72, Noy was released from prison after serving 20 years for the M25 attack. The Pro Board said that his release remained a risk due to his readiness to carry and use weapons. In 2016, he was linked to the Hatton Garden robbery that shot the country. It was revealed that the leader of the gang who carried out the heist was a former top lieutenant of Noy. The man, Brian Reader, had been charged alongside Noy's for the murdering of the police officer in the grounds of Noy's home in 1985. It was determined that no involvement could be found in the robbery. This concludes the story of the well-known figure in the criminal underworld of Britain, Kenneth Noy. Thank you for watching. Please like, subscribe and share.